20 feet long, over 10,000 pounds, and with teeth of 3 inches each. The Nigersaurus had all the characteristics to be a deadly hunter, but luckily for other dinosaurs that roamed the earth in its time, he was just an herbivore. Among the notable discoveries in Africa, the Nigersaurus stands out. Although his name sounds a bit controversial, what dinosaur has 500 teeth? Nigger, what? It's not what you think. Its name, which translates to Niger Lizard or Lizard from Nigeria, was given to it by Paul Serino, who dedicated himself to studying prehistoric creatures, particularly in the Niger region of Africa where the Nigersaurus was found. Although paleontologists came across these species in 1976, they were unable to determine its appearance until the end of 2000, when Serino described it in detail and gave it an official name. Origin Belonging to the Seropody family, the Nigersaurus was a 9 meter long prehistoric animal, approximately the length of an average city bus. Unlike its relatives, this dinosaur had a much shorter neck which compromised only a fifth of its total length. This is because sauropods were long-necked herbivores that lacked cheeks to hold food in their mouths. Nigersaurus possessed a wide, flattened muzzle that was lined with over 500 closely spaced tooth columns. Nigersaurus had wedge-shaped teeth that raked and cut leaves from trees rather than grinding or chewing them. The teeth also had a broad base and a sharp tip, which allowed the dinosaur to slice through vegetation close to the ground in a manner unique among known dinosaurs. With an average weight of 8,000 pounds, Nigersaurus was comparable in mass to two average cars. Its jaw, which resembled a vacuum cleaner, and its 500 teeth were the most distinctive features that set it apart. Due to this unusual dental arrangement, Paul Sereno, who named the Nigersaurus, also labeled it as one of the weirdest dinosaurs ever in 2007. The teeth of Nigersaurus were approximately 2 inches in length and arranged in columns that were spaced about 2.5 inches apart. As the dinosaur aged, the teeth were continuously replaced, with older teeth shedding from the front of the mouth, as new ones grew in the back. Similar to the teeth of the Great White Shark, this resulted in a dynamic tooth structure that changed throughout the dinosaur's life. Body Structure Nigersaurus, discovered in present-day Niger in Africa, inhabited the Middle Cretaceous Epoch approximately 115 to 105 million years ago. Specifically, its fossils were found in the Gadoyufalua area of the Tenere Desert in southeastern Niger. What are the main outlines of this prehistoric creature? Firstly, Nigersaurus was a smaller member of the sauropod family, measuring around 30 feet in length and weighing approximately 4,000 pounds. Its neck was its most noteworthy characteristic, consisting of over a dozen short and wide vertebrae, making it highly suitable for feeding on low vegetation or ground-level food. The skull of Nigersaurus was also distinct, having a broad rectangular shape with a flat snout, and contains numerous small sharp teeth arranged in rows, which is likely utilized to bite and grind vegetation. Concerning its body, Nigersaurus had a compact short form with a wide rib cage and a relatively short tail. Its limbs were slim and its broad rounded toes aided in weight distribution on soft muddy terrain. Nigersaurus's distinct and extended appearance separated it from other sauropod dinosaurs of the time. Teeth and Jaws Nigersaurus had a broad snout that contained over 500 teeth, and these teeth were replaced at a fast pace approximately every 14 days. It is also possible that the jaws of the Nigersaurus were covered up with a keratinous sheath. It was able to keep a steady supply of sharp and effective teeth for consuming plants due to their rapid replacement. The shape and arrangement of these teeth were well suited for the efficient consumption of significant quantities of low-lying vegetation such as ferns, horsetails, and other similar plants. Consequently, Nigersaurus was excellently adapted to feed close to the ground, and its teeth were instrumental in facilitating this feeding habit. Nigersaurus had relatively weak jaws and was not adept at grinding its food. Rather, it used its jaws to tear leaves, grasses, and other vegetation into manageable pieces before swallowing them. 
This suggests that the species had a powerful stomach acid that could break down a wide range of food items, even those that were not finely ground before ingestion. Despite its weak jaws, this dinosaur could consume up to a ton of vegetation per day. Although there are no direct descendants of Nigersaurus or other sauropods alive today, we can draw comparisons between this dinosaur and modern-day herbivore animals, such as cow, deer, and giraffes. As they share similar feeding habits and use their long necks to access vegetation. If you like this video, please press that like button and subscribe to this channel to let us know that you're interested in more content like this. Brain Nigersaurus likely had a relatively small brain in proportion to its body size, which suggests it may not have possessed a high level of intelligence according to modern standards. However, measuring intelligence is a complex task, and it's important to note that dinosaurs were highly specialized and successful animals that adapted to their environment in unique ways. Eyes It is believed that Nigersaurus had good eyesight, likely due to the position of its eyes on the sides of its head, which would have allowed it to spot predators like Gigantosaurus from a distance. However, the shape and size of its eye sockets suggest that it had a wide field of vision, but limited depth perception. In addition, the shape of the eyes suggests that Nigersaurus may have had sclerical rings, which are bony structures that support the eye and provide important information about the animal's visual abilities. The presence of scleral rings in a Nigersaurus also gives us hints that it may have had good night vision and was able to detect movement well, which would have been useful for detecting predators in low light conditions. Overall, although we cannot know for sure, it is likely that dinosaurs had visual abilities adapted to their specific environment and ecological niche. The Nose as an extinct species, we can only make educated guesses about the structure of the Nigersaurus's nose based on its skull. From what we can tell, it had a wide and flat snout with nostrils located towards the tip. This suggests that it had a well-developed sense of smell, which would have been crucial for an herbivore like Nigersaurus to detect food and predators from a long distance. It is possible that the dinosaur also had an elongated nasal cavity, which could have helped to humidify and filter the air it breathed in. This would have been especially important for an animal living in a dry and dusty environment. Ultimately, the structure of the Nigersaurus's nose was likely adapted to its particular environment and ecological niche, as is the case with most animals. Survival Mode The survival strategies employed by Nigersaurus are similar to those of modern-day herbivores and can be easily inferred. One of the most effective strategies is living in herds, which increases their chances of survival through safety in numbers. This makes it harder for predators to single out individual Nigersaurus for an attack. In addition, the dinosaur likely used its long neck to spot potential predators and evade danger. If confronted, it could have used its sharp claws as weapons. Moreover, Nigersaurus may have had a tough time that would have been a challenge for predators to penetrate. Despite its massive size, Nigersaurus was likely a relatively fast runner. The combination of these tactics along with its immense size would have made it a formidable prey for even the largest carnivorous dinosaurs of its time. Fossils The fossils of Nigersaurus are housed in several museums and research institutions around the world. The most complete specimen, including the nearly complete skeleton and skull, is housed at the National Museum of Niger in the capital city of Niamey. Other important specimens are held at the University of Chicago's Paleontological Collections and the Museo de Ciencias Naturales de Buenos Aires in Argentina. Replicas of the Nigersaurus can also be found in several natural history museums, including the American Museum of Natural History in New York City and the Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto, Canada. Nigersaurus's ability to adapt to its environment was crucial to its survival and evolution. As previously discussed, its physical characteristics and behavior helped it to survive and thrive in its habitat. This adaption allowed the dinosaur to establish a prominent place in the ecosystem and ensure its continued existence for millions of years. Despite the millions of years that have passed since Nigersaurus and other dinosaurs went extinct, people's fascination with these creatures continues to drive research. 
Niger Saurus remains a subject of interest for scientists and students alike as they continue to study and learn about this fascinating prehistoric animal. Just as previous generations of paleontologists have made discoveries about this kind of dinosaur, young scientists today may uncover new insights and knowledge about this unique dinosaur.